your regular doctor, and when you're sick, you get a constipation and they give medication. That is the type of medicine that all, all of you are familiar with. Uh, this type of medicine is uh, new. It's been uh, promoted in the media and uh, a lot of our entertainment uh, industry. So, uh, especially the name anti-aging. Actually, anti-aging medicine is longevity medicine. For the sake of uh, all of us in this uh, highly technological society, we're just going to call this type of medicine anti-aging medicine. So that when you watch television, uh, hear it on the news, uh, you will be familiar with it. What is anti-aging medicine? Anti-aging medicine is a specialty that deals with reversing age or delaying the onset of decay of the human body. There are two uh, division. You have the internal um, anti-aging medicine specialty, and the typical diseases you see are menopause, uh, andropause, or male menopause, and you have growth hormone deficiency. These are the three major uh, diseases found in uh, internal anti-aging medicine. And who are the typical patients? Typical patients are uh, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And uh, they have symptoms of lack of energy, uh, insomnia, lack of interest in life, low libido, and uh, weight gain. And um, what do you uh, put them on? Normally their regimen is bioidentical hormones, vitamins, minerals, herbs, nutrition, and lifestyle changes. The typical length of treatment is one to two years. And these are, you know, you probably hear about bioidentical hormones on television and a lot of the movie stars like Science Sounds. So when you come to our center, we have that ongoing education every Wednesday night. We talk about all of these regimen and the symptoms of patient in detail. So we encourage you to I'll watch that or again our classes. The external anti-aging medicine are the ones that you are familiar with, cosmetic and plastic surgery, um, Botox, cold laser, bloodless face, eyelid lifts, microdermabrasion, open facial and neck lifts, and liposuction. These are what you're familiar uh, of. Uh, what about longevity medicine? Um, Longevity medicine is a new term. Um, you're familiar with uh, nursing, you know, geriatric medicine. This is geriatric medicine are the patients that are in a nursing home. Well, 65 and above, we are considered geriatrics. Now, this new uh, specialty deals with reversing the damages caused by diseases in the human body. So. That is a very simplified um, definition of longevity medicine. Again, uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s are affected by this um, type of medicine. Normally it's only 65 and above, but with our uh, information through our past case society, we're seeing a lot of diseases that are common in the 65 year old, in our 40 year old patient. And even younger, this year we are seeing a lot more in the 30s, early 30s. So that's why it's, uh, for us, it's almost a mission to educate our patient about this. Because we, this is our, uh, I guess, baby boomers and above, uh, geriatric medicine is what we know, that the hypertension, metabolic diseases, and heart disease are only common between 55 and above, you know. We have patients now that have heart attack at the age of early 20s. So this is an education for you got, for us and for our children. Um, how do we, what kind of regimen we put them on? It's similar regimen as you can see. We have uh, body identical hormones, vitamins, minerals, nutrient, uh, nutrients, herbs, and we can combine that with our current medication. Remember, they have multiple medical problems already and the ravages of the hypertension, heart disease, um, we need to reverse the uh, damages by giving them natural substances, bringing them back to a natural life. That is the goal of uh, this longevity medicine. And 
the plantar treatment most of the di most of the time is two years, more than two years. What about integrative medicine? Uh, integrative medicine combines the specialty of traditional medicine and alternative medicine. Now, alternative medicine is, uh, is everything that is uh, <coughs> pertaining to natural uh, regimen, um, uh, vitamins, minerals, acupuncture, uh, they're all lumped into alternative medicine. And the father of that, of course, we all know is Dr. Andrew Weil. And, um, so they deal with all the same thing. Uh, all the diseases found in the medicine patient are also found here. We have asthma, hypertension, heart disease, arthritis, cancer, especially cancer, uh, where uh, integrative medicine is uh, applied now. Um, genetic diseases and obesity. And uh, you can combine your uh, regular uh, medications such as uh, statin drugs, uh, other um, natural substances. Most of the time, uh, doctors specialize in this type of uh, specialty. They have to go to school to combine your medication with your herbs and your supplement because there is a, uh, there's a synergy and there is a uh, you know, contraindication combining drugs and uh, supplements and uh, herbal medicine. And it's the most accepted, most popular specialty in uh, mainstream medicine. Energy medicine. What is energy medicine? This is probably new. Um, in the last uh, 10 years, it's become more recognized. Uh, brought about by the uh, New Age uh, group. Um, so this is uh, becoming more aware that we can actually help ourselves through our spirituality. So um, a lot of the patients who are in this specialty, they use the spirituality. Uh, as the name for modality of resolving diseases. Um, you can use uh, any, any forms of uh, spirituality. Uh, if you are Judeo-Christian, you can use uh, your Judeo-Christian uh, um, values, and you can use ancient philosophy, esoteric, uh, any of this method. And most of the time, uh, it's in, in terms of prayer, meditation, and obedience. So, uh, how, how would you know the type of medicine you would need? Because uh, you hear a lot of it. And uh, as you can see, the uh, infusion medicine, longevity, integrated, and energy. I hope to simplify it for you so that when uh, you're thinking, when you go to a doctor, you have a, a grave or a severe diagnosis, that you don't know what to do. But these are alternatives for you that you can avail of these services. And there's a lot of uh, uh, practitioners now and doctors who are uh, training uh, to do uh, this uh, type of medicine. So, to simplify, how would we remember that? So anti-aging A for age, meaning these are, these are like symptoms that uh, appears to us in, in our 40s and 50s when you're healthy. And suddenly you are hit by symptoms of how, lack of energy, um, insomnia, and weight gain. Uh, you're not actually, you don't actually have a disease. It's just the natural course of uh, aging process. So you must know where to go. Because uh, sometimes this uh, specialty, you go straight to your regular doctor, and the next thing they do, they give you drugs. And uh, that's, I mean, it's okay. It's in this third generation, it is okay to go to your regular doctor, but you have another alternative so that your diseases does not get worse. So that's age. Longevity, if you have a long life, it's about long life, prolong, prolong, prolonging your life. Because now we see diseases we see from 65-year-old to a 40-year-old, to your late 30s. So be aware of that. Integrated medicine, if you want to make yourself whole, meaning you have this conventional regular medicine, you can avail of the alternative medicine. Combination of that is integrated. Energy. What gives you pa uh, power? What gives you energy? Um, most of us, we have a certain belief uh, how we uh, a way of life. We can be uh, 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 any we uh, you be, could be religious or you could be spiritual. Or you could just believe in science.
Philippines, okay, um, or it could be an atheist. Um, it doesn't really matter for what we believe. What's important is how do we become healthy. It's important to, uh, it's important, our faith is important uh, to all of us. Uh, because we're in America, we have, we are the melting pot of uh, all of that. Um, so it is important that we know that we can, uh, we can, we can use this as your first uh, plan of treatment for your health. And a lot of people become successful for this. anti-aging uh, patient with female. Uh, like in this uh, a case study we have uh, MC, 45-year-old female, complaining of hot flashes with gain, depression, insomnia for three months. Uh, she noted her menstrual cycle stopped six months ago, and she denies any other medical problems. She described herself as healthy as a horse. She went to a GYN and was told she's having a change of life. And there's nothing to be done except uh, live, live with it. The patient saw an anti-aging physician who did work out and found out that hormones are low and she's in that menopausal uh, phase. Um, she was then eventually put on biomedical hormones. She, two months later, she feels normal and happy again. That is one case. What about a uh, male? This is a typical male patient. A uh, 50-year-old male uh, denies any diseases is a corporate executive and describes himself as a gym rat. He complains of lack of interest in life recently, the last six months. He had insomnia, lack of libido, uh, no stamina during workouts, and he had gained 30 pounds in the last six months despite exercises. Again, he saw an anti aging physician and we did work out for, for him. And his, his diagnosis was he has hypogonadism or low T testosterone as you see from television. He also has adult growth hormone deficiency. He does have hypothyroidism and moderate adrenal deficiency and multiple vitamin deficiency. We, the doctor put, her, put him on testosterone, nodotropin, compound thyroid, DHEA, and his own vitamin company products. After six months, his libido was to the roof and he has a new girlfriend. <laughs> after, after two years, he was promoted as area executive, lost 30 pounds in his sculpture body, and is considering joining a sports competition. Those are your typical anti-aging patients. Um, what about, I'm gonna go to skip, I wanna go show you a, 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 a typical longevity uh, medicine patient. Uh, this is a male, 63, 63 years old, who has diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and uh, had uh, underwent the procedure um, bypass, um, for vessel bypass. He now complains of severe fatigue, insomnia, 20 pound weight gain, low libido, depression. He just had labs and cardiac workout by her specialists, which are all normal. So they couldn't explain why he would have severe um, fatigue when he already had uh, underwent cardiac rehab. He is one year post cabbage and um, he had to go on permanent disability. He is a firefighter and he had to go on permanent disability because he couldn't do his work. He was referred to us um, in the office and we found, I, I found him to have hypogonadism with a testosterone of 170 and adrenal deficiency, hypothyroidism, and multiple vitamin deficiency. His regimen is that of testosterone, uh, supernate, and ACG. We, we put him on DHA cortisol, compound thyroid, and uh, multiple vitamin um, in, uh, injectable com compound, which are B12, B complex, B3, and glutathione. After six months, uh, he gained back his energy. He's swimming three times a week. He has gym, and his cardiologist couldn't believe uh, that he recovered quickly. He now takes care of his son, who's autistic, and uh, after 1.5 years, uh, teaches 